Okay, Eric, one of my subscribers asked, why are the rims different um, from the front and the rear wheel? Well, they're really, they're different because they do different jobs the way they are. So the front wheel, because we have the inside out brake rotor, doesn't need any kind of torsional uh, strength to keep the middle from being twisted out of the outer. Okay. Um, like you would with a conventional brake. So we want it to be as light as possible. The rear, however, has a, the drives mounted to the hub, and so is the brake. So therefore, either whether, whether, whether you're braking or whether you're turning on the power, you're trying to twist the hub out of the middle of the rim. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So then you need uh, bracing this way okay. to keep that. But the front, because the loads from the brake go right to the rim, there's nothing that twists it apart. So that's why it have those crazy thin spokes. I can see that. That's awesome. It's kind of like a bicycle, you know, with a rim brake bicycle, you can have dead straight spokes, right? Mm -hmm. yep. for, you know, for the front, but you can't have on the rear. And yeah. As soon as you put a disc on the front, you've got to have, so that's why. It makes perfect sense. And the SX and the RX both have the same wheels, right? Yes, they do. Okay. Awesome. And is this your personal SX? Yeah. Nice. How many miles on it, it's Eric? Got not very many on it, because I keep tinkering with it. <laughs> okay. So I've got old man handlebars and old man... Oh, whatever. Stuff, man. Yeah. It's just a touring bike. <laughs> I see your handlebars are different. Yeah, they are different than... And this is Mike's. Yeah, that's a standard SX handlebar. Okay. And uh, he's got some kind of some kind of different pegs on it. Oh, he has the beautiful uh, tips on his, uh, on his uh, exhaust tips on it. Yeah. It's awesome. So, we're about to go on a little ride then, yeah, huh, I can't ride with you guys for too long because my okay. wife is gonna, needs me home. Okay, a quick ride would be great. I have the privilege of riding with Eric Buell. How many people can say that besides Mike over there? Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go on a quick ride. My first ride on my EBR 1190RX. So I'm about to go on a ride on my new 1190RX that's being personally set up and tuned by Eric Buell himself. And Mike's right here, he's gonna go with us. We're good? Good. All right. Okay. I should probably... Get to peel that. <laughs> oh, nice. Wait, am I recording? Yes, I am. I get to peel it off, huh? <laughs> nice. Awesome. Boom! There it is. Now, first official duty. Yeah. Our EBR 1190RX owner. <laughs> thank you, Mike. And thank you, Eric. Really appreciate it. Nice jacket, Dionysus, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Heck yeah. Okay. So I want to follow. County Road back, then you head up J, and then take that road that turns into Bluffer. That's a little quick loop. Yep. And then you guys can ride more if you want to later. But I that'll. I gotta get back, so I'll just do a quick ride with you guys. Okay. Show you that we actually have some turns here. Oh yeah. <laughs> After you having driven through <laughs> Western Ohio, yeah, Indiana. Indiana, nice and straight. Oh, yeah. 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 Let me see some turns finally. <laughs> All right, my first ride. On the 1190RX, the brakes are great, <laughs> just from that brief usage. The gauges tell me that the engine's cold, I know that, I just, we just started it up. Wow, the sound on this thing, that's what you immediately notice, is it has a great sound. And lots of low end power. I can see that too. Is that a freeway or something too? Yeah, do you want to do a blast? Go here, go down to Bower. Go up Bower, then come up past. Um, I'm trying to visualize where you're past Gus's. Yes. And then go back through and then yes. take ES around. Yep, kind of and I'll take them out to LaGrange for lunch at the bicycle shop. You know where the entrance to the Keller Marina is? Right out here on 20. There's some nice rollies and some real nice tight sweepies into it when you come into LaGrange. 
little bicycle shop in the corner with a really good deli. Yeah, yeah. I know. Take him there for lunch. I can't. Do that. I know you got to go. Yeah. So I'll ride a loop and then we can split there. Okay. You lead, and then when you want to peel off, I'll take over. Okay. okay. Thank you, Eric. Nice seeing you again. I'll see you again, I'm sure, soon. <laughs> Thank you, Eric. I appreciate it. All right. I'll see you soon. He's going to take us on. Oh, the police. Jeez, they're everywhere. Golly, I'd hate to get a ticket. There's nowhere to run out here. Well, at least I don't know where to run out here. I don't think Eric Buell will run with me. I guess I should wait for Eric Buell and Mike. But this bike is pretty fast. It's got great mid-range. It just jumps out there. One thing that it desperately needs is a quick shifter. Because I'm used to riding bikes with quick shifters. It's ridiculous power. Mid-range. Power where it counts. I haven't done a top-end smackdown yet and I won't while I'm here in East Troy. But as soon as I get back to Filthy Cleveland, we'll test it with an all-out top end smackdown to see how the top end power is but low and mid range power is absurd the handling is precise the sound of this bike this might be the best sounding bike in my arsenal right now wow the gauges are nice too thin film transistor you all, you all know i love that just like the pentagalli and the oh boy he can corner pretty good like the pentagalli and the um Whoa, it wheelies! <laughs> so, here we are riding next to Eric Buell here on his uh, 1190SX on the streets of East Troy, Wisconsin. And I'm on my new RX and I'm loving it. I'm loving it a lot. I love the sound of the motorcycle. I love the gauges. I love the cutoffs here of the tank for my knees. It's a very comfortable bike. I'm not feeling pressure on my elbows and whatnot and my shoulders because of the way that the handlebars are positioned. They're just positioned great. The only thing I would change right now or the only thing that I would add to this motorcycle is a quick shift. Uh, and I'm going to look for a unit that does uh, upshifting and auto blipping. And that'll be it. Oh, and the windscreen. Definitely needs a windscreen. Taller windscreen. But the mid-range power of this motorcycle and the low, the low range power is just phenomenal. And when people ride this bike, when I allow test rides on it, you're gonna, you're gonna instantly see that, like I did. And they're gonna like it. And they're also gonna love the sound of the motorcycle too. And this is a really interesting neighborhood. You know, I love exploring new cities. And East Troy seems to be, well, at least this, uh, neighborhood that we're in which is close to EVR racing is a nice neighborhood the homes are really nice and they have a lot of character the throttle on this motorcycle is very clean and crisp man unlike my R1M that's herky-jerky and just crazy this throttle is uh, really smooth really nice what in the name of Macbeth is that some sort of crazy farm equipment I could probably ride under, underneath that thing. Jeez. So we're back from our awesome first ride on my 1190RX. I love this motorcycle. It's a great, great bike so far. Eric Buell has to go somewhere, but I want to finish the ride with Mike. <laughs> and I appreciate that man this is an awesome bike Eric it is totally awesome the riding position is so comfortable for me the way that my legs and my knees kind of sit here really nicely what was most impressive about this bike is the power delivery that I can be cruising in second and third gear and I've got that power on tap low end in the mid range it is awesome yeah, you're enjoying it. yeah. Have fun. that was a fun I ride Eric 
I figured it just a little mix of everything. I yeah. just started to go back to do some more twisty rugs. I'm like, I got it. Gotta go. yeah. Thank you, Eric. Good seeing you. Yep. You, you too. Yep. Okay. Okay, I'll follow you. I'm hungry too. It's going to be my lunch and dinner because I'm not going to eat again for the rest of the day. Really? Yeah, so this will be a big meal for me. Are you headed home? Yeah, after, after we get lunch, yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. Right. So, I finally get to ride an SX, the 1190SX. I've been wanting to ride this bike forever. Uh, he's got carbon fiber on it. He's got exhaust tips. Ah, uh, Let's try this thing out. I like the mirrors. The mirrors are very nice. And Mike's going to ride my uh, RX. Well, man, the seating position is so freaking comfortable on this damn thing. I see why these guys love these type of bikes. <laughs> They're definitely not as aggressive as a freaking sport bike, that's for sure. The mirrors are really nice. I see why a lot of motor vloggers like these type of bikes. Because you can comfortably ride them without being hunched over and things like that. This thing still has all the power of my bike. So we stopped at a local shop and had my HMF exhaust installed onto my motorcycle and it does look great. Wow. It does look really good with that exhaust and it sounds great too. That's a great looking bike. My good buddy Mike from EVR is riding it and I'm riding his SX. And this SX has all the power of my bike with a, a much, a thousand times more comfortable. A thousand times more comfortable. And I like the mirrors better on this thing too. Let's see if I can get those mirrors on my bike. I'm gonna have to have to see about getting one of these damn things too. Cause this would be a great bike for me just to scoot to work and back and and things like that. Wow! Phenomenal power, mid-range power, power where you freaking need it. I'm in third gear, and this bike just screams. I can tell I'm going to really enjoy riding my RX. Wow, he can corner pretty good. Bike sounds great. <laughs> There's that big vehicle again. What the hell is this thing? enjoyed a fantastic meal here at the LaGrange General Store near East Troy, Wisconsin and I had a great time with my good buddy Mike there on the bikes and uh, the meals that we had were good. I'll take you for a quick walkthrough of the, of, the, of the store. But I've got great drinks and a fantastic deli back here and I had the turkey feast sandwich and it was absolutely delicious. But yeah if you're out and about, they, they even have wine and whatnot. If you're out and about in LaGrange, Wisconsin, oh, those desserts were delicious too. 
then you make sure you check this place out. And it doubles as like a bike shop on this side. They've got coffees, cool bike stuff. They even rent bikes here. How you doing? All right. Yeah, what a great place. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, and actually, part of this video will be featured on my YouTube channel. If you get a chance, check it out. Thank you. Hi. Good. Getting some coffee? Nice. Oh, we'll try to go out this way. Yeah. That sandwich was delicious. And they've got bike trails back there where folks rent their bicycles and take them on the trail. And now we're going to have, let's check out some of their bikes in there. Cool. Now we're going to head bike, head back with Mike. I'm going to ride his SX and he's going to ride my RX. Yeah. What a great road. What a nice road here. To be doing some exhilarating twisty rides. It doesn't look like we have to worry too much about law enforcement here in the great state of Wisconsin. So we're wrapping up our fun-filled day out here at EBR Motorcycles in East Troy, Wisconsin. We had a great time. I got to ride with Eric Buell and also got to ride with Mike as well. And I test rode my 1190RX and loved it. Uh, it was a very short ride, but I did experience a lot of mid-range and low-range power. And uh, the bike was extremely comfortable for me as well. So I'm looking forward to doing more extensive riding on that and giving you a full review. But um, we did take delivery today. Um, I got to ride with Eric Buell himself. He answered a lot of the questions that my subscribers and I had, and it was really a great experience. We got to eat at a very nice restaurant, and now we're going to head back to Cleveland. It's about a seven-hour drive, so uh, we're looking forward to that with the trailer and my 1190X is inside. We're going to get going here. If you like this video, don't you dare forget to hit the like button and share the video with your friends and family. Also, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button at the very bottom right hand side. That way you'll get notified whenever I upload new videos and stuff like that. And also there's going to be some cool things I'm going to offer only to my subscribers uh, in the very near future. Very exciting stuff coming up. All right. Thank you guys for viewing. Stay tuned for more. And as always, thanks for viewing.